we'll go up to another PC video. In this video, I wanna share with you guys a motherboard that I came across that is very unique in that it can read all generation CPUs from six, seven, eight, and nine. That's right. Without having to flash the BIOS, upgrade the BIOS, or upgrade any hardware, this motherboard can read all generation CPUs from six, seven, eight, and nine. Whether it is an i3, i5, i7, you're able to install any of these CPUs that fall in that generation category, and this motherboard will read it off the bat. And I just think that's amazing because to this day, I have not found a motherboard that is able to do that. Usually a motherboard can read six and seven, eight and nine gen uh, CPUs. You can make a motherboard you read a different type of generation. However, it usually involves a lot of tinkering and um, you have to either flash the BIOS or upgrade the firmware and things like that. And it is just a lot more involved. But for this particular motherboard, I'm going to give you guys a demonstration of just how easily this motherboard can read six, seven, eight, and ninth gen CPUs. And this is the motherboard right here. It is the Jinyu B250M gaming exclusive. It's a very simple motherboard. It's an M80X board and it is designed for Intel CPUs. It isn't the most flashy motherboard, but it definitely does the job and it has all the typical plugins that you would expect from a motherboard. Okay, let's just open this right now and let's see what we get. They give you the motherboard itself and also one SATA cable to plug in your hard drive. And this is basically it here. I've already installed the RAM here to have it ready for testing. But as you can see, this is the motherboard right here. You have all your typical plugins. You have a dual RAM slot for DDR4 RAM. You have your 1151 socket for your CPU and all your typical plugins. Here we have an HDMI port. You have your PS2 with your USB uh, 2.0. Then you've got your DVI, your VGA and your USB 3.0s as well as your microphone line in, ethernet and your speaker. Basically a very simple motherboard, but definitely the best bang for your buck. Especially if you're looking for a motherboard that will allow you to upgrade the CPU without having to buy a new motherboard altogether. It also has a M2 slot right here. So you're able to use a M2 NVMe SSD card and the GPU slot is also reinforced with this aluminium bracket. So, you know, that's a little advantage right there. But you also have another PCIe times one slot at the bottom here, just in case you want to install a network card. And you also have your USB 3.0 header right there. I'm going to leave links in the description below to this item. That way you're able to check it out and see in detail all the specs of this motherboard. But today I just really wanted to show you guys that a motherboard like this, as simple as this and as affordable as this can do exactly what it says it can do. Let's get into it. I'm going to show you guys that this motherboard can in fact read all different generation CPUs out of the box without any modifications to the BIOS nor the hardware. So let's do that. i5-6500. The first thing we want to do before we install any CPU is basically clear the CMOS. Now in this particular case I can't find the two jumper pins in order to clear the CMOS. So all I'm going to do is take out the battery for about 15 seconds. That will clear the CMOS. You always want to do this when you're installing another CPU because you don't want the BIOS to hold the settings from the previous CPU or else it may throw an error because it's trying to read the old CPU and the settings of the old CPU. Put this back in now. You will see all the information on the screen once I uh, boot it up. Okay, just to show you that I'm not um, tinkering with it in any way in order to get it to work so we'll now install the fan I'm just going to sit it on there quickly because you know I'm going to switch it out a few times all right we have our power source plugged in we'll turn on our power now I have my temporary uh, power button here and we'll turn it on as you can see it boots up straight away I have a hard drive already with Windows pre-installed so I'm going to boot up Windows right now and I'm going to show you guys the stats of the PCs, we're going to boot up Becky, just so you guys can see that it is that CPU. All right, so as you can see right there, 
it is running the i5-6500 right there. Okay, temperature is jumping because I don't have the CPU fan completely mounted, but I just want to show you guys that it does work. All right, next thing, we're going to shut this down and now we're going to install the 7th gen CPU. We will switch out this CPU now. Take this one out. And here is the i5-7400. You're going to see it on the screen anyway. We're going to install this one. Clear the CMOS once again. Take out the battery for a second as we install the CPU. Now we'll turn it back on again. And we should get one beep as always. I'll bring up the stats once again so you can see for yourself that it is in fact a i5-7400 CPU. Once again, I'm going to open up Speccy just to show you guys. There it is right there, the i5-7400 at 3 gigahertz, 16 gigabyte RAM. And there you go. So there is the i5-7400. We're going to jump into the next generation and uh, you're going to see that it does read every single one. We're going to grab our 8th gen CPU. This is the 8th gen CPU. This is the i5-8600K, a magnificent CPU. I highly recommend if you guys are on a budget to get a CPU like this. You are able to overclock it all the way up to 5.2 gigahertz. The overclocking qualities of this CPU is absolutely amazing. Once again, we'll put in our hot on our fan. We'll clear the CMOS, put it back in now, and now we'll turn it on. We've already gone through 6, 7 and 8 gen and the fact that this motherboard can do that is just crazy. Like I said, I've never stumbled across a motherboard that can do this and the fact that this does it is just crazy. If you're someone who likes to keep it more simple then, you know, a motherboard like this will definitely do the job. So as you can see right now on the screen we have the Intel Core i5-8600 at 3.6 gigahertz. So already we've gone through the 6500, the 7400, and now the i5-8600K. So just to prove to you guys that it, it is the i5-8600K, right there. We're going to switch back to another CPU, and this time we're going to install a 9th gen. We're going to put in the i3-9100F. Now, the 9100F doesn't have an integrated graphics card, so we're going to have to install a little graphics card. But that's all right because I have a tiny little graphics card here that I like to use as a tester. A very compact graphics card, but definitely powerful little graphics card. 1050 Ti, four gigabytes. Move this over to the side a little so the GPU can sit in. Take out the CPU once again. Put it back into its case. We will put in the i3-9100F. We'll take out the uh, battery real quick. Install the CPU once again. Install the fan. We'll now put back our battery. And now we're going to install our graphics card. As I stated, the F models do not have integrated graphics. You need to install a graphics card and pull out the HDMI cable from the motherboard. And then I'll plug it into the graphics card. It doesn't have any power cable. So you don't need to put in any 6-pin, 8-pin, anything like that. It simply runs off the power from the motherboard. So obviously, you may need a more powerful um, PSU, a power supply unit, because you're going to now be running the graphics card straight off the motherboard. Now let's boot this up. We should get our beep very soon. There we go. Look at that. So this is the i3-9100F, 4 cores, 4 threads, 9th gen CPU, definitely on the budget side of things. So as you can see right here, we have the i3-9100 at 3.6 gigahertz, running the GeForce GTX 1050Ti Zotac graphics card. And there you have it guys, so already we have run 4 different CPUs. And I'm going to show you guys another CPU that it will run, and that's going to be the i5-9600K. Just to show you that it isn't a fluke that it can run a 9th gen CPU. We will go back to the motherboard, 
and install our last CPU to test and that's going to be the i5 9600K. Lastly, this is the i5 9600K. We'll boot this on now. As you can see here, I'm doing this live. I'm not tinkering with it before. I'm not messing with it before I plug it in. I'm not going to BIOS and doing anything special. I simply plug it in, turn it on, and I reset the BIOS by removing the battery. And that's all there is to it. You really don't have to do anything. You just have to make sure you reset the BIOS before installing a, another CPU. And it really is that easy, guys. All right, so as you can see here, we now have the next CPU installed. I am going to go into Specky once again to show you that it is in fact the i5 9600K. So as you can see right now, there you have it guys, the i5 9600K at 3.7 gigahertz. I just wanted to show you guys that it is in fact possible to have a motherboard to read all 6, 7, 8, 9 gen CPUs. I just really wanted to share this with you guys in case you're one of those people out there that is looking for a cheap alternative to a motherboard that will allow you to upgrade your CPU without having to change your motherboard at all. And this is a very cheap motherboard. I got this motherboard for only 120 Australian dollars shipped. It is definitely the motherboard to get if you're interested in being able to use to, to read all generation CPUs from six to nine. And that brings us to the end of the video. So if you found this video helpful guys, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. Stay tuned for my next video guys. For all you W203 lovers out there, I will be changing out the indicators to dynamic ones. So stay tuned for that video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.